Hello, my name is Sarah Havens and I'm a field specialist in natural resources with the University of Missouri Extension. So I'm going to talk about some chainsaw training um, that we had at ORDAC and a little bit about our future plans for some chainsaw training, um, hopefully at the WordAC farm. So chainsaws are a really important tool when it comes to forest management. And um, we use this for timber sales, we use it for um, forest scene improvements where we thin the forest, we use it um, even if we're managing just our own woodlot for our own firewood consumption, we use our chainsaw for that. Um, they also can be one of our most dangerous tools when it comes to forest management. According to the CDC, we have about 36,000 chainsaw injuries per year. Many of these come from um, private landowners who utilize their chainsaw um, sporadically throughout the year, or maybe they go a couple years between usage. Um, so we have out of um, date personal protective equipment or uncertain about um, safe practices. There's a training called Professional Timber Harvester Training, and this is a training that's provided by the Missouri Forest Products Association and the Missouri Department of Conservation. And this training is provided um, particularly to loggers, but it's also open to landowners. Um, and they are, they're going to provide a really hands-on, high-quality training um, that goes through all the ins and outs of harvesting trees, cutting down trees, maintaining your chainsaw, all the appropriate personal protective equipment that you should wear. This past summer, um, we were able to offer professional timber harvester training at WERDAC uh, for three undergraduate students from the University of Missouri and from College of the Ozarks. And then um, to myself, as an extension field specialist, I was able to go through this training. This training was um, set up for our undergraduates because they were going into internships within the forest products industry. So they were going to work for loggers and sawmillers and they needed this training um, in order to be valuable interns for them. Um, for myself as an extension specialist, this training prepared me for some future chainsaw trainings that we are planning to put on for landowners and helped with, with my ability to teach things like chainsaw maintenance. Uh, wearing your PPE correctly and having the appropriate PPE, and then also the basics of felling a tree safely. Um, day one was basic chainsaw parts, maintenance, and safety equipment. Um, so here we are learning um, on the right side of your screen, learning how to do plunge cuts. So this, this was made into kind of a game to see how um, well we could, could meet the marks. Um, we also learned about maintenance, chainsaw maintenance, and then our per personal protective equipment, how to wear it, what we should wear, um, how to maintain PPE, um, how to tell if it has aged out, so if we should replace it with new. On day two, we learned the basics of felling a tree, and this is when we actually got to go out into the woods and, and cut down our first trees on our own, which was a very um, exciting experience, especially for um, for a couple in our class who had never actually felled a tree before, so that was really exciting. Um, day three, the Missouri Department of Conservation joined us and they went over forest management. So we did some walks in the woods. We looked at um, what is present um, in Missouri forests as far as trees, what an overstocked forest looks like, what an understocked forest looks like, understocked forest looks like. And um, we also talked a lot about best management practices during this, this day. Um, so best management practices are things that we do to prevent things like soil erosion in our forest. Um, and so we talked about where logging roads should go, how we might um, organize the landing if we were doing a timber sale on the property. Um, so lots of um, important forest management skills. Um, Dave Laura was chainsaw sharpening. So it's a, a very practical skill, particularly if you're in the woods quite a bit, it's really important that you um, properly maintain your chainsaw and one of those things is sharpening it. So it'll be a very effective tool. And um, we also practiced a little bit more tree felling and talked more about placement and lean um, in a tree. And then day five was kind of our final tree felling practice. Um, we all uh, were given three trees to fell in a particular area um, and we had to do the planning process on our own, make our safety plan and then actually um, 
put in place our, our plan and how we do it. Um, this class is, is taught by Joe Glenn, who's a certified game of logging instructor and his assistant um, instructor, Aaron. So again, here's just a couple pictures from, from our training at WordAC. Uh, so in addition to actually felling trees and how to properly fell them and put them where we want them to go, um, we learned how to manage things like hangups. So if we cut a tree down and it lands on another tree and doesn't um, fall all the way, how we can um, correct that. Uh, we learned how to properly limb trees and how to buck them. Another important skill, so kind of in the middle here, is a picture um, of a, one of the students learning about spring poles. And so spring poles are one of our more dangerous things that happen in the woods when we're cutting trees. So we have small trees, that are kind of spread throughout underneath our, our larger trees and we fell a larger tree and it catches the top of one of those smaller trees and holds it down into what we call a spring pole. So this um, has a lot of energy behind it, which can be very dangerous um, to loggers and landowners alike. And so it is very um, good for us to take care of those before they cause any injury. So we learned how to properly correct and cut down those spring poles without injuries to ourself. After um, our PTH training, our professional timber harvesting training that we um, did using the Word Act Woods, um, our three undergraduate students went on to internships with their forest product in industries um, and they had very successful internships and this was again thanks to being able to have um, a place where we were able to practice cutting trees and learn how to safely um, use our chainsaws. So this was, was really important. Um, as extension faculty, it's, it's in our plan to provide chainsaw trainings in the future, um, hopefully using WordAC and maybe some other um, uh, locations and potentially other, other research farms. Um, so this is uh, again, an important skill that our landowners are often asking for is, is how to properly use it and to learn kind of the ins and outs. Um, one group specifically that I'm really excited about working, working with, especially now that I have um, kind of some new chainsaw skills in my back pocket, is with our Women Owning Woodland group. So we have a lot of um, women landowners in Missouri, and they're either the sole owner or part owner of of woodlands and it's really important for them to learn how to to manage their woods and understand how to do it um, but it can be intimidating for them to learn about these chainsaw skills in a mixed group um, so we will be offering some some trainings that are aimed specifically at women who are interested in in learning all this so i'm very excited about that Um, if you're also looking for additional chainsaw use and safety information um, through our extension guides, um, so we have extension guide G1954. This is selecting and maintaining a chainsaw. So if you're kind of at the start of not understanding or not knowing um, which chainsaw is best for what. So for example, we um, have, have various sizes of chainsaws. So we have very large ones that are used by our um, loggers who use them every day and use them to cut down fairly large trees, all the way down to actually battery operated chainsaws that are used by our smaller landowners who might just need to trim uh, limbs around the house. And this guide will help you um, kind of make those choices. It'll also go over the parts of a chainsaw for maintenance purposes. Um, we also have extension guide G1958. This is felling, limbing, and bucking trees. So this is useful to our landowners. Um, who might be cutting firewood from the woodlots or perhaps doing their own forest stand improvement and thinning of trees. And then extension guide G1959 goes over operating a chainsaw safe, safely. So this will talk about the, um, the parts and how we should start a chainsaw correctly, um, everything that we should wear as far as personal protective equipment um, and how to make sure that PPE is um, still safe. So for example, if we have cut through our chaps at any time, we should replace those chaps um, with a new pair because they've been compromised. Also on our helmets, 
we should make sure that they are within the usable date. So things like UV, um, radiation, and um, impact with, with hard objects can compromise our, our helmets. So it's important that we know when to replace those. So and again, if you have any more questions, my name is Sarah Havens. I am out of the Rolla Extension Office, um, which is in Phelps County. And you can contact me um, at my phone number or my email. Um, and then if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.